My family, Megan is the Duchess of Sussex. Whether the UK tablets, whether current online, like it or not, Megan is the Duchess of Sussex. And she is the mother of Harry's children. And Megan became the Duchess of Sussex when she married Prince Harry. My family, let's be very clear on that. Megan right now, as I have seen her American Riviera Orchard Instagram account, Megan has up to 580,000 followers. Remember, Megan launched this lifestyle luxury brand roughly more than two weeks ago. And right now, it has 580,000 followers. In my family, I love how people are following Megan. Even the people who are complaining, oh, you know what? You know, why is Megan right now launching, you know, this American Riviera Orchard right now? Why, why, why? Are people who are following Megan already? Because I've seen some carnival of so-called experts like Dan Wooten. I've seen Rebecca English. I've seen Cameron Walker of GB News following this Instagram account, American Riviera Orchard. I have seen it. I have seen them, you know, doing what they're doing. Following someone that they say they hate. And I'm going to say this. If UK Media hate Harry Meghan, then why are they making money off of their hate campaign against Harry Meghan? Why can't they focus on people they say they love? Why? Why? You know, my family, right now I saw an interview on Doc TV between a carnival of so-called expert called James Max, who is a presenter on Doc TV, speaking to Jenny Bond. And over the past couple of weeks, I have seen that Jenny Bond has been defending Megan, has been saying truthful things about Megan. Although some things are false, but some things she has said are true and real. And my family, I want you to see that interview. What was said? What I want you to see is Jenny Bond's response to Carnival of so-called experts, James Max whinging, mourning, and complaining over Megan using the Duchess of Sussex name and title on her American Riviera Orchard. My family, Megan, can use it because it is hers. It belongs to her. And it's high time the carnival of so-called experts accept it. My family, kindly please hear this interview. Please, my family. I want you to be able to hear this. It's you know? been almost two weeks since the mysterious announcement of Meghan Markle's latest venture, American Riviera Orchard. I can hardly wait. The excitement is there. But there have been few details released about her new California-inspired lifestyle brand. Is it just Soho Home on steroids? Except that it was launched using the Duchess of Sussex royal title. This begs the questions. Should the Sussexes continue to cash in on their titles despite stepping back as members of the royal family? And does this pose a problem for a monarchy already battling for with two health crises? Well, joining me now is... The <laughs> Whenever you hear people like that speak, just hear nonsense, nonsense. And already even the questions are framed in a negative light, my family, or negatively, to try and evoke or receive a negative response, you know, from Jenny Bond, who's the person that James Max was asking questions about Megan. About Megan's, you know, luxury lifestyle brand. First of all, even the framing of those questions, it tells you that indeed they have a very, very negative agenda about Megan. They want something negative to be said about Megan's luxury brand. Because, of course, 
the tabloids, UK media, don't want Harry and Meghan to make any money for themselves. However, they feel it's okay for them, UK media, James Max himself, to make money off of Harry and Meghan, off of speaking negatively about Harry and Meghan. Listen, if the tabloids don't like Harry and Meghan, as they say they do, then why are they making money off of Harry and Meghan? Then why are they using Harry and Meghan's names to get clicks, to get engagement, to my family get views? Why? Why? Because is it not much healthier for the tabloids, for the carnival of so-called experts to focus on the royals they love and make money off of them? Is that so hard? Is that so difficult? You know? To the Wikimedia, it appears to be very, very difficult to let Harry Meghan go. It appears to be so, so difficult for them not to mention Harry and Meghan's names. My family. And also, what does Kate allegedly, having been diagnosed with cancer, have to do with Meghan launching American Riviera Orchard, her lifestyle luxury brand? What, what does Kate's allergic cancer have to do with Megan launching American Riviera Orchard. What? Can somebody please tell me, you know, how Megan's American Riviera Orchard is, is somehow linked in any way to Kate announcing that she allegedly has or had cancer? My family. The short answer is this. Megan's American Riviera Orchard lifestyle brand has nothing to do with Kate's alleged cancer diagnosis. It does not. And also, I have seen Kate's own sister, Pippa Milton, on vacation, enjoying her vacation with her husband and her kids, my family. I have seen that. Pippa Middleton, Kate's own sister, enjoying vacation. I have seen that. And nobody in the UK media is asking for Pippa Middleton to somehow postpone her vacation and go take care of Kim Milton. However, we have had UK media being like, Harry, come over and see Kim Milton. But you don't hear Pippa Middleton. Cut out your vacation and go see your sister. You don't hear that. You do not hear that. You don't hear from Kate's brother. Often they can be saying that Kate's brother, James Middleton, go over there and see your sister. You, you don't hear that. You don't hear that. But you do hear Harry and Meghan to be the ones to pause everything they're doing to go and see Kate Middleton. To pause all their plans, all their projects to go and see Kate Middleton. My family, Harry and Meghan, should do no such thing. Harry and Meghan should do no such thing, my family. You know? I mean, even just a few weeks ago, Daily Fail was reporting about how much Pippa Milton, Kate's sister, has been enjoying her vacation, my family. Just a few weeks ago, that's what they were covering. Of how Pippa was enjoying her vacation. While Kate had not been seen for months. Am I for all means? Pippa is a married woman. She has a husband and she has kids. And maybe even Kim Wilson was okay. With her going on vacation with her husband and kids. She has that right to do that. But the issue that I have here is this. UK media are ignoring Kate's own sister, Kate's own brother, to be like, Harry Megan, why can't you stop what you're doing and come over here and see Kate Moulton? Normally, they ask Harry in particular. Harry, come over and see Kate Moulton. Yet the last time Harry was there to see Charles, UK media are like, oh, you see, you see this, you see this? Harry only saw Charles for like 20 minutes only. Charles, they don't even want to see Harry. That's 
what you give me they were saying. And they were showing enormous disrespect towards Prince Harry himself. Even though Harry flew for more than 10 hours from the US, the UK to come and see Charles, Harry was still being mocked with Wikimedia. You know? The next day, it was like Harry only met Charles for like 30 minutes only. After flying 10 hours to come over and see Charles. And right now, basically, after mocking him for that, they want Harry to come back to be mocked even more. Harry should do no such thing. Harry should do no such thing. And also, what I want you to be able to take note of, my family, is that UK media still believe they have rights to demand things from Harry Maker. To do this, to do that, do this, do that. They have no right whatsoever to demand anything from Harry Maker. They have no right whatsoever to demand anything from Harry Maker. You know? No right whatsoever. And Megan should also continue with her life, continue with her projects, her plans, and should never ever pose her plans to accommodate K. Moulton, to accommodate William or Charles or Camilla. Megan should continue with her plans because guess what? The farm themselves don't even, you know, my family show any respect to Prince Harry or even Prince Harry's projects. I mean, look at what I found out a few days ago. You know, there is talk that Prince Harry will be in the UK for the Invictus Games 10th anniversary service being held at St. Paul's Cathedral in the UK. And it came to my attention that on that same, same day, on that same, same day, on that same, same day, that Prince Harry is expected to be in the UK for the Invictus Games 10th anniversary service being held at St. Paul's Cathedral. On that same day, I am told King Charles is planning a garden party at Buckingham Palace. My family, that's a fact. That's what Charles is doing. You know? And no one not a single carnival of so-called expert is talking about, oh, look, Charles, this is bad timing. This is bad timing, you know? Respect the Invictus Games participants. Respect this Invictus Games 10th anniversary service because of how it's helped so many veterans by postponing your garden party to accommodate and show respect and have this spotlight focused on Invictus Games participants and the Invictus Games in general. But do you think Charles will ever, you know, pose his plans for Harry? No, he won't. No, he won't. Do you see UK Media, who know fully well that Charles will be having a garden party on the same day Harry is coming over to the UK or is expected to be there in the UK? I hope he doesn't come. Do you see any carnival of so-called experts complaining about the timing, the timing of, you know, Charles' garden party. Do you see anyone doing that? My family, there's no, not a single carnival of so-called expert is complaining about the timing of Charles' garden party at Buckingham Palace. Not a single carnival of so-called expert is complaining about that. But guess what they're complaining about? Megan's luxury lifestyle American Riviera Orchard, my family brand. That's what they're complaining about. That's what they're complaining about. That fear of Megan making millions. That's what they're complaining about. Because they don't want Megan and Harry to make any money. They don't want them to be billionaires. They want Harry and Megan to run out of money. That way, Harry has to beg Charles for money. That way, Harry is subjected to humiliation of borrowing Charles or William money. That's what Suki Media want to see. My family, they are never ever going to see that. So really, what I am trying to say here is that because senior members of the royal family like Charles, William, Kate, Camilla will never ever check in with Harry Meghan 
and respect her to make us plans or projects. Because of that, because they don't respect Harry Meghan, then Harry Meghan also should not, you know, create their plans while thinking about what's going on back in the UK. While thinking about Kim Wilton, Charles, William, or Camilla, Harry Meghan, if they have any project, let them continue their plans. Let them not postpone their plans to accommodate William K. Wilton, to please Kate, William, Charles, Camilla, or the UK media. Harry Meghan, don't do that. If you have plans, if you have projects, continue your projects. Meghan, if you are planning for your American Riviera Outer to go, website to go live next month, Meghan, please. Let it go live next month. Don't postpone it. If you are planning for it to go you know, live in two weeks from now, Megan, you do that. Megan, you do that. It's up to you. It's your decision. But never ever do anything to accommodate William and Kim Morton. Please, Megan, do not. My family, can you please hear what uh, Jenny Bourne said while defending my family Aria Megan's right to earn a living. My family, can you please hear this? With two health crises. Well, joining me now is the royal commentator, Jenny Bond. Jenny, very good evening to you. Thank you for joining us here on Talk TV. As far as I'm concerned, I'm delighted that Harry and Meghan go off and do whatever they like. But frankly, they've got to leave the royal names, the monikers, everything else behind. They've walked away from it. They shouldn't cash in from it. Or is that just me being uh, an annoying media journalist? <laughs> I think the latter, yes. I think it is um, time we stop demonising Meghan for everything she does. This is exactly what the Sussexes said they wanted to do. They said they wanted to commercialise or pursue commercial projects. Um, and they couldn't do that, the late Queen said, if they remain working royals. So they stepped back from those roles. They went to California. They had embraced the L.A., La La Land celebrity lifestyle and to do that they need a lot of money um, and this is a very good way of making some money. Megan's good at this sort of stuff. Her, her previous blog, The Tig, was uh, very commercially successful and I think this one probably will be too. Um, I don't really know what you want. Do you want the king to strip them of their titles? That would seem petty and vindictive. I mean that is her title unless she were to be divorced, and I don't wish that on Harry or on Meghan either. Um, so I think we accept they have the royal title. Yes, it, it brings a lot of uh, kudos to her brand. Of course it does. But this is what they said they were going to do. I, I understand it. My family, this is what Harry and Meghan said they were going to do. And honestly, I'm surprised that Jenny Bourne is telling the truth. What I have seen over the past couple of weeks, when it comes to... My family make a launching American Rivera Orchard. It appears Jenny Bond, you know, somehow in a way supports Megan. My family in that, as we all do. Because guess what? Harry and Megan have to earn a living. They have bills to pay. And Megan was able to build my family the TIG. It, it, it became so, so big, so, so huge. And it made Megan roughly $80,000 a year. My family in revenue every single year. That's how much the take was able to bring for Megan to bring, you know, to Megan eighty thousand dollars a year. Now imagine what American Riviera Orchard will bring Megan when it goes live. Just imagine how much money Megan will make if everything that Megan wears sells out. Because my family, whenever Megan wears anything, it sells out. Now imagine. Megan selling products using her American Riviera Orchard, my family, you know, website and brand. Just, just imagine that. Just imagine that. How much money Megan will make. Megan is going to make millions. And let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. That's what UK Media are afraid of. Because the thing is, UK Media are making money off of whinging, mourning and spreading negativity about her and Megan. Especially Megan. Why are they making money off of Harry Megan if they hate Harry Megan? Why? Why are they doing that? Why are they making money off of Harry Megan? Why can they make money only from those royals who they say that they love, like William, K. Moulton, Charles, or Camilla? Why are they constantly 
invoking Harry Meghan's names to clearly make money, views from them. Why? And yet they don't like Harry Meghan. Why? Why are they doing that? Because I'm so sick and tired of hearing this, you know, constant complaint. Oh, you know what? You know, why are Harry Meghan profiting off of their titles? My family. Have you looked at the royals who have titles in the UK? For example, Prince and Princess Michael of Kent. They're selling my family access. To get money. They are selling access to get money for themselves, to make money for themselves. Selling access to, you know, senior members of the royal family, like Charles, you know, uh, William, in order for them to make to earn a living. And they have titles. My family. Look at uh, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, now called Sophie and Edward. Look at them. What they are doing, my family. You know, do you think that they can secure a deal with Netflix and Spotify? They can't. They can't because nobody is interested in them. UK media call Harry Meghan unpopular, but yet they can't stop obsessing over Harry Meghan. And yet they can't stop talking about Harry Meghan. Yet they can't stop using Harry Meghan's names for clicks, for engagement, for views, for engagement, for views. They can't stop it. So really, then why are they profiting off of people they say they don't like? Why? Why? It's high time that the UK Tabloid Media, James Max, Jenny Bourne, stop making money off of Harry Meghan. Stop exploiting Harry Meghan. It's high time. I mean, I think you would agree with me. It's high time they stop doing what they're doing. Stop making money off of whinging, mourning, and complaining constantly about Harry Meghan. Focus on the royal you claim you love, you like, like right? Like, for example, they say they, la they like William and Kimilton. Then why can't they focus on them? Why are they constantly ignoring William and Kimilton? Why? Why? My family. I mean, is it okay for people who abuse Harry Meghan to make money off of Harry Meghan while demanding that Harry Meghan make no money for themselves? How is that okay? How does that even make sense? But sadly, that's the agenda that has been pushed by the UK media in general, targeting, you know, Harry Meghan. That Harry Meghan have no right to make money for themselves. However, UK media are okay with being the ones who make a fortune off of whinging, mourning constantly about Harry Meghan. How is that okay? How is that all right? How? My family, it isn't. It isn't. It isn't. Harry's birthright was to be called or referred to as the Duke of Sussex upon getting married. And Harry was called the Duke of Sussex when he got married to Meghan. And I know it upsets the firm and UK media that they were unable to stop Harry Meghan's wedding. I know it upsets them that they've been unable to destroy Meghan's union, their marriage. I know it angers them. But they've got to understand, the more they attack Harry Meghan, the more Harry Meghan fight for what they have to ensure that nobody breaks them apart. That nobody is ever able to split them apart. You know? And Harry Meghan have every right, like you and I, to earn a living, to pay their bills, to pay their bills, to pay for security. What they need. Why? Because Wikimedia keep eating hatred against Harry and especially against Meghan. Meaning Harry and Meghan always need security. Meaning Harry and Meghan's kids, Archie and Lilibet also always need security. And that requires money. And that requires Harry Meghan to make a fortune. That's what it requires. My family, that's what it requires for Harry and Meghan to make a fortune, to earn a decent living. My family. And the thing is, when Harry and Meghan were in the UK, you can immediately say that if Harry and Meghan don't want, us, don't want us to cover them, then guess what? 
should stop earning taxpayer money. Harry made us stop earning taxpayer money. And what did the media do? They said that they were greedy when Harry Meghan said they wanted to earn their own living. The tabloids then demanded that if Harry Meghan want to earn their own living, then guess what? They should pay costs for renovating Pomo Cottage. If they do that, then even the tabloid media will back off of Harry Meghan. Harry Meghan paid back costs for renovating a cottage that did not belong to them. They paid millions for it. Still, UK media never backed off Harry Meghan. And now, after making so much demands from Harry Meghan, now they're like, okay, if Harry Meghan not to be left alone, then they should be stripped of their titles or should give up their titles. My family, for the UK media, is never going to be enough for them. It's never going to be enough for them. They feel like they want to punish both Harry and Meghan. They want to punish them for simply saying no to their abuse. For saying no to playing the game. A game that Harry says even took the life of his late mother, Diana. Harry's refusal to stand idly by and watch as the mother of his child, Archie at the time, my family, was being abused, insulted, and do nothing about it. It angers the UK media. And even right now, they keep on being angry, angry, angry every single day. It never, ever stops. It never, ever ends. Every day, they're angry. Because Harry chose Meghan and Archie over following William around. Because Harry chose Archie, Lilibet, and Meghan over being around Carnival of so-called experts. For my family really want so badly to have that access to senior members of the royal family. They really, really want that so, so badly. They really want that so, so badly. But after abusing Harry Meghan all these years, my family media have no right to have any kind of access or to even come close to Harry Meghan at all, my family, at all. Harry and Meghan have every right in the world to earn living. And my family, I'm happy about Megan's American Riviera Orchard, you know, brand. I'm happy about that. Megan's going to become a billionaire very, very soon. And I can't wait to see that happen. I can't wait to see that happen. But already that has gotten Yuki Miji terrified, worried, concerned, so, so afraid. You know, it's high time that Yuki Media and the firm understand this. They have no control over Harry and Meghan. And they are never, and I mean never, going to have any kind of control or power over Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And they've got to be okay with it. They've got to be okay with it. They've got to accept it, my family. You know, they've got to accept it. And they've got to be okay with it. They're never going to have any kind of control over the lives of Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, my family, you know. Kindly, please continue hearing my family what was said by Jenny Bourne, my family, please. That they were going to do, and I also understand why they decided to leave uh, the institution, the family, and I respect that decision because it must be incredibly hard. I don't think any of us can manage uh, what it's like to have that level of scrutiny on pretty much everything you do. Having said that, I think that the damage that they have inflicted on the royal family, I think the fact that they've cashed in to the tune of tens of millions of pounds and dollars uh, off the back of telling us stuff that, frankly, we shouldn't need to know, uh, and then using royal monikers, if you like, to go and sell stuff. It's a bit tawdry. Come on. Yeah, but they've moved on, haven't they? I really think have they, they have put that behind them. Uh, I think they have, yes. We haven't heard anything negative about the royal family from them. Um, for months, in fact, the only thing we really have heard uh, was them wishing Catherine health and healing, peace and privacy. Um, and so I think uh, Harry has also been making noises that, you know, he, he feels that he does want to be reconciled with his family. Um, so let us, I say, not go on demonising them for the past. Jenny Bourne says that let us not demonise Harry and Meghan for the past. Excuse me, but there was never a reason to demonize Harry and Meghan for anything because the only thing they did was simply fall in love with each other. And sadly, UK media and senior members, the royal family, couldn't stand seeing Harry marry 
someone who's smart, someone who's clever, someone who's a woman of color, they couldn't stand that. And they became so abusive towards Megan because of jealousy that they have towards, you know, Harry and Megan's star power. The attention Harry and Megan have been receiving from the public, the love, and they wanted to, to change that by tainting Harry and Megan's reputations with lies. And guess what? Years later, Harry and Megan are standing, despite all the lies that have been told about Harry and Megan. You know? Harry and Megan are still standing. And this mere campaign has been a complete and utter failure. You know? So my family, whenever I hear James Max complaining, oh, you know what? Harry and Megan say this and that about the royal family. Harry and Megan would never have said anything. If only UK media, when Harry and Megan even fled the UK, backed off of Harry and Megan. You know? But they did not. They kept attacking, attacking, and attacking. Even when Harry and Megan were quiet, they kept attacking and attacking and attacking. And then all of a sudden, when Harry and Megan speak up, it's like, oh, you know what? They said bad things about the royal family. Guess what? You, James Max, have been saying bad things about members of the royal family, Harry and Megan. You've been saying terrible things about them. You, P.S. Morgan, Dan Wooten, and the others have been saying terrible things about Harry and Megan. But when Harry and Megan respond, you are like, how dare they? How, how could they? Abusers don't like it when their when the victims speak up. Harry and Meghan have gone through so much. And they had every watch in the world to speak up and tell the truth. And I'm happy that that's what they did. Never ever be silent. Silent when you're abused by someone. Don't be quiet. Speak up. Speak up. And expose your abuser. Speak up. You know? As Harry even said, silence only empowers the abuser to continue to abuse, to keep on abusing. And that's why even when Harry and Meghan are quiet, and even when they are quiet, still you are having UK media complaining. As Jenny Bond said, my family, Harry and Meghan haven't really, you know, said much for a while now about the royal family. But despite that, have you seen UK media back off Harry and Meghan? No, they have not. No, they have not. And they need to. They need to back off Harry and Meghan and leave Harry and Meghan alone. Otherwise, they can't complain when Harry and Meghan speak up and speak out against their abusers. They can't. And they should not. You know? Because if they do that, they will just have to call them out for their hypocrisy, my family. You know, and most of the carnival of so-called experts are full of hypocrisy. Don't make money off of Harry Megan and off of creating drama around Harry Megan, but they don't want to make they don't want Harry Megan to make money for themselves. That's hypocrisy. My family. My family, we must keep on exposing, you know, their blatant level of my family hypocrisy. And uh, Jenny Bond also has asked, you know, for kindness for Harry and Meghan. My family, please kindly hear this, please. Honestly, I'm surprised to see Jenny Bond doing this, my family. But really, I'm thankful. I think we cannot go on beating them with the same stick. Come on. I think we should show some kindness. Um, show some I think we should show some kindness. Not think. You should. Stop with the attacks towards Harry and Meghan and leave them alone. Let them live in peace without harassing them or harming them. And you must understand Harry and Meghan fled the UK. And they aren't going to be at the mercy of their abusers forever. Harry and Meghan need to earn their own living. And I know UK media would love to see Harry and Meghan you know, at the mercy of the abusers, UK media and the farm forever. But guess what? It's not going to be forever. Even right now, Harry and Meghan have refused for years to be at the mercy of the abusers. And even no wonder they fled the UK. And there's no way either Harry or Meghan are ever going to return to the arms of the abusers. Never. Never. The mistake that Turkey media are making here, my family, that I see they're really, really making here, is thinking that they have control of Harry and Meghan. Is thinking they have the power to make demands from Harry and Meghan or off of Harry and Meghan. They don't have any power over Harry and Meghan. And they've got to accept it. 
The mistake they're making here is thinking that somehow they are the only ones who can make money off Harry Megan, but Harry Megan have no right to make money for themselves. That's a mistake. Harry Megan have every right in the world to earn their own living. Just like you and I do. There are bills to pay, and also there are security bills to pay my family. They have to pay for their own security because UK media have endangered their lives, my family. Just the constant hate campaign against Harry Megan by the UK media and the farm on orders of the farm, on orders of Prince William, Kate, Charles Camilla. So my family, I'm happy that Harry Megan are earning a living. And I'm happy about Megan's, you know, American Riviera Orchard. Big things are coming. And my family, may God bless Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. You tell me kindly your thoughts about what we have just discussed. I want to hear your opinion. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Bethana, Andrea, Ragland, and all of you. Members got at home. He never wins. Love wins. And stay tuned on this video. Love it was on forever. And may God bless each and every single one of you. He never wins. Love wins. And stay tuned to our next video. Love it was on forever. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family. Always and forever. Sayonara.